the complete evolution of Tyrannosaurus. This ancient fiend of hell has long since died out, but even in films and pictures, the image of this monster gives me goosebumps. You don't really need to introduce him. This is a Tyrannosaurus in person. Today we will follow the complete evolution of this extraordinary animal and try to satisfy the curiosity of our viewers as much as possible with the theories and facts of scientists around the world. So, let's go! This huge predator became famous thanks to the Jurassic Park film franchise and is firmly entrenched in the minds of viewers around the world. With its huge mouth and teeth the size of bananas, it became a real nightmare for ancient animals and, of course, for movie heroes. A Tyrannosaurus in a movie is like the coolest actor on stage. He comes out, takes a couple of steps, growls, and all the spectators are already squeezing into their chairs. In real life, this giant was approximately 12 meters long and weighed up to 9 tons. It's like a walking mountain of muscles and teeth. But the funny thing is that in the movies he is always chasing someone, although scientists believe that in real life he could be a scavenger. And another fun fact is his short arms. In the movies they always look kind of ridiculous, as if A.T. Rex is trying to reach the last piece of pizza, but can't. The ancestors of Tyrannosaurus were much smaller than their famous descendant, the main representative of the superfamily. They had to go through a long and difficult evolutionary path before becoming the real kings of the dinosaurs. These little dinosaurs ran through the ancient forests, looking more like domesticated chickens with a bad temper than fearsome predators. They were no bigger than a large rooster and proudly thought, eh, someday we will become great. Evolution treated them like a strict trainer, forcing them to run, jump and fight for every piece of food. Gradually, their descendants became larger, stronger and smarter. Over the course of millions of years, they acquired powerful jaws, long teeth and, of course, that very royal posture. These little dinosaurs have learned to use their brains and brawn to survive in a harsh world. Each step in their evolution was like a new level in a video game more and more difficult. But they did not give up and moved forward towards their dream of becoming real giants. Found and described in England in 1910, this small carnivorous predator gets its name from the presence of a crest at the tip of its snout. For a long time, Proceratosaurus was considered a relative of Ceratosaurus only because of this crest. This poor fellow wandered through the pages of textbooks and scientific articles, mistakenly assigned to an alien group of theropods. And he probably thought, well, how can this be? I'm different, completely different. And only at the beginning of the 21st century, thanks to phylogenetic research, the scientific understanding of this dinosaur changed. It turns out that the procedure the Tosaurus was not a relative of the Ceratosaurus, but a member of the Coelurosaur group. This group included Oviraptorosaurs, Ornithomimosaurs, Manoraptorians, including birds, and even Tyrannosaurs. Imagine, Proceratosaurus was a closer relative to our modern birds than to that terrible Ceratosaurus. Given such small dimensions, the ancestors of Tyrannosaurus were true masters of caution. Small predators had to constantly look around and beware of the much larger and more terrible predators of that time Megalosaurus. The small ancestors of Tyrannosaurus ran through ancient forests, hiding behind every bush. They knew that if the Megalosaurus spotted them, the game might not end in their favor. Megalosaurus was like the older bully at school that all the younger ones tried to stay away from. But these ancestors did not give up. They were cunning and agile. 
It was thanks to these skills that they were able to survive and ultimately evolve into the fearsome Tyrannosaurs we all know and love. Don't forget about the Guanlong Predator. The name of this dinosaur, Guanlong, translates as Crown Dragon. And as you might guess, such a majestic name is associated with its special feature, a large crest on the skull. This cone was not just an ornament, but a real crown for Guanlong. This crest was like a badge of honor, something like an ancient dinosaur passport with the inscription Important Pepper. But, in addition to his crown, Guanlong was also a dexterous and fast hunter. This dinosaur lived about 160 million years ago and was the ancestor of those same tyrannosaurs that everyone loves to talk about. Yes. Guanlong was one of the first representatives of Tyrannosauroids, and it was he who laid the foundations for future formidable predators. Guanlong was not very large, about 3 meters in length, but this did not stop him from being a true master of his craft. Thanks to his speed and sharp claws, he was a threat to small animals, who would certainly tremble in fear at the sight of his crown. This cone may have played the role of not only decoration, but also helped in mating games. Imagine how Guanlong meets his beloved and begins to show her his cone, as if saying, Look at my crown. Is it possible to resist such a handsome man? Guanlong, which, like its relative Proceratosaurus, was first classified by paleontologists as a completely different clade of theropods. At first, scientists thought that Guanlong was related to the Allosauroid Monolophosaurus, but, as they say, not everything is so simple in the world of ancient dinosaurs. This dinosaur was a real hunter. But bad luck, in the same area there is are both larger and, frankly, much more fearsome predators. On the one hand, we have Monolophosaurus, a 5-meter dinosaur that also loved to snack on something fresh. This big guy was twice the size of Guanlong and probably loved to show who was boss. When the Guanlong saw his relative, he most likely immediately switched to the run if you want to live, and ran as fast as he could. But that's not all. There was also an even more formidable rival, a Synraptor, already 9 meters long. This giant was a real colossus, and when he appeared on the horizon, Guanlong probably didn't even try to argue. He knew that it was better not to catch the eye of such a dinosaur tank. Guanlong was a master at saving his own skin, and despite being a predator himself, sometimes he had to quickly change his dinner plans and go into escape mode. Let's just say the hunter is a hunter, but he also had to be careful in this harsh world. A story about a real lizard of noble origin, Calescus Aristoticus. This name speaks for itself. Because the nobility of this lizard lies in its relationship with Tyrannosaurus. Calescus lived at about the same time as Proceratosaurus, 167 to 165 million years ago. But unlike his relative, our noble friend was perhaps a little larger. Scientists suggest that the length of its body could reach 5 meters. But there is one catch. It is difficult to say this with complete confidence, because all that was found were skeletal fragments of the upper jaw and limbs. A complex dinosaur puzzle with most of the pieces missing. Kylesk, apparently, was that mysterious gentleman. On the one hand, it had Tyrannosaurus relatives, and on the other, its size could have impressed any passing dinosaur. If he could speak, he would probably say, Yes, I have noble blood, and I will show it to you as soon as they find the rest of my skeleton. But be that as it may, Kylesk is another exciting page in the Book of Ancient Evolution. Even from pieces of his jaw and limbs one can imagine what a formidable and majestic creature he could be. 
Here's a story about the next theropod in the branch of development Uteranus, whose name already speaks for itself. You means feather. Tyrannus immediately hints at family ties with Tyrannosaurus, and the species name Wally is translated from Chinese as beautiful. Feathered, beautiful and at the same time formidable dinosaur. It's as if a Tyrannosaurus Rex decided to put on a fancy jacket and go conquer the world. Uteranus, although it belongs to the family of Proserodosaurids, that is, Primitive Tyrannosaurus stands out for its very impressive size. An adult individual could reach a length of as much as 9 meters, and the weight is the predator almost 1,500 kilograms. This is not a joke, but a real walking tank with feathers. Now imagine that all three found specimens of Uteranus were discovered together. This suggests that these beauties probably led a gregarious lifestyle. Yes, can you imagine? Several 9 meter long feathered tyrannosaurs walk together like a group of fashionable giants, hunting in the vast expanses of early Cretaceous China 125 million years ago. To be honest, this picture makes me a little uncomfortable. Imagine how such a flock of beautiful, but terrifyingly large predators appears on the horizon, and everything around falls silent. Even the bravest dinosaurs probably thought, maybe it's better to wait out this moment somewhere in the bushes? Another monster that walked around ancient China, Sinotheranus. This ancient predator got its name for a reason. Sinotyrannus translates to Chinese tyrant, and just think what a cool title that was back then. This Chinese tyrant lived on the territory of modern China, and, apparently, was the real owner of those places. Imagine, such a Sinotyrannus is walking through ancient forests, and everyone around is just thinking, well, that's it, it's better to get out of his way, otherwise you never know. This beauty came from the same family as the famous Proceratosaurus, but, being a true Chinese tyrant, he, of course, kept his mark. Unlike his relatives, Sinotheranus was even more impressive, and his name inspired respect even in those distant times. Sinotheranus, like other tyrannosaurs, was at the top of the food chain, and probably feared no one. He could organize a hunt in the vastness of ancient China, and even the largest dinosaurs probably did not dare to argue with him. Let's take a look at these ancient tyrannosaurs, which we call Proserodosaurids. To make it easier for you, we call them ancient tyrannosaurs. But this does not mean at all that the Guanlong or the Kailesk are the direct ancestors of that very formidable Tyrannosaurus rex. Imagine, over a hundred million years of evolution, how many different Tyrannosaurs trampled our planet. It's like a family gathering, where everyone is similar, but each with their own character. Evolution is such a confusing matter that you can break your head trying to figure out who is related to whom. Alas, the preservation of fossils is a great rarity and a real success. Imagine how many bones have disappeared without a trace, and how many we still haven't found. Modern science is faced with only the slightest fragments of the Mesozoic fauna, as if someone is deliberately hiding this ancient secret from us. Those bones that managed to be imprinted in geological layers are literally grains of knowledge left to us by the ancients. So when we talk about Proceratosaurids and Tyrannosaurids, it is quite possible that they had one common ancestor, and they themselves were like sisters, only from different families. They could develop in parallel, remaining close relatives, but each line chose its own path. But you know what? That doesn't change the fact that all these guys we're talking about are real Tyrannosaurus. Guanlong, Kaleskus, Sinotheranus, all of them, whatever one may say, are the heirs of that great line of predators that ruled the world millions of years ago. And although we cannot say for sure which of them was Rex's direct ancestor, they were all part of this formidable and amazing family.
Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Thumbs up and leave comments. Subscribe and be sure to press the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.